Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> everybody, good evening. Welcome again. Okay, we're going to begin now. I am going to just let me start this presentation. But first, I'm going to, well, just, just a moment. Okay. All right, everybody, I'm going to share the screen with you. Okay, there it is. Uh, before we start, I'm going to call the attendance. So if you hear your name, please um, let me know. Ana Patricia Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Benjamin Alejandro Quijada. Benjamin Alejandro Quijada. Brenda Adriana Méndez Méndez. Brenda Adriana Méndez Méndez. César Alexander López Beltrán. Present teacher. Thank you. Elisa Arelí López Campos. Present teacher. Thank you. Hugo Giovanni Pérez Mancía. Hugo Giovanni Pérez Mancía. It is Janet. Sorry, sorry. Presente. Okay, Present. thank you. It is Janet Martinez Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Irving Hiroki Kimura Fuentes. Irving Hiroki Kimura Fuentes. Janet, ja <coughs> Janet Jacqueline Cárcamo Álvarez. Present teacher. Thank you. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Jennifer Noemí Menjibar. <coughs> Menjibar. Jennifer Noemí Menjibar Menjibar. Thank you. Jocelyn Gabriela Martínez Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. José Aías López Portillo. José Aías López Portillo. Jose Francisco Aguilar Torres. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Xiomara López Rivera. Karen Xiomara López Rivera. Karina Yasmín Nuila Delgado. Present teacher. Thank you. Luz Virginia Pérez de Calderón. Luz Virginia Pérez de Calderón. Melissa Guadalupe Méndez Abarca. Melissa Guadalupe Méndez Abarca. Michelle Beatriz Díaz Guzmán. Hello, teacher. Hello. Pamela Lisbeth Flores Muñoz. Presente. Thank you. Uh, Roberto Carlos Cuellar Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. Sandra Maritza Serrano Barahona. Sandra Maritza Serrano Barahona. Yes, Benjamin? Benjamin? Eh, ya me mencionó Ali. Eh, sí, el segundo Entonces, de la aquí lista. Aquí estoy. Ok. Aquí estoy. Welcome. Ok. Thank uh, you. Maritza, Sandra Maritza, no? Selma Yamilet Peña. I am here. Thank you. Teresa de Jesús Cruz. Teresa de Jesús Cruz. Victoria Ingrid Leal. I'm here. Thank you. Okay, let's do this. We're going to have a review on the topic from yesterday. And we have this present continuous. Okay, un repaso, rapidito. Melissa Guadalupe. Presente, teacher, es que acabo de conectarme. Okay, vamos a buscar acá. Ya encontré. Thank you. ¿Alguien más que no haya mencionado? Que se vaya conectando recientemente. José Aías. José Aías. Thank you. ¿Alguien más? Ok. 
Veamos. Present continuous. Everybody, take a look. This is a review. Esto es un repaso. She says, I'm eating. So she's eating. She isn't reading. It's raining. The sun isn't shining. We're running. They're running. They aren't walking. So what is the present continuous? The present continuous is am, is, and are, plus not, if the sentence is negative, and then the verb in ing, doing, eating, running, writing, etc. So when the subject is I, you use am. When the subject is he, she, or it, you use is. When the subject is we, you, or they, you use are, okay? So if it's negative, you need to add the particle not. You say, I am negative, I am not. He is, is affirmative. The negative form, he is not. We are, is affirmative. The negative form is, we are not. And after that, you need to use the verb in ing. You use the verb in ing in affirmative, negative, and question forms for present continuous. So you have some examples. I'm working. I'm not watching TV. Yes, Benjamin. Eh, sí, licenciado, le quería hacer una pregunta. Dígame. Eh, respecto a la plataforma, porque me estuvieron mandando mensajes que había que completarle y así. Uh -huh. eh, cuando le aparece a uno el video, pues en mi caso, pues yo los he visto y así, pero no me aparece el chequecito. ¿Es tan necesario que uno responda la parte que tiene hacia abajo para hacer algún comentario o algo? Pues fíjese que yo, por lo menos... Al ver el video en su totalidad, a mí al menos me aparece el cheque. Pero no sé si no. ha visto el video completo. Sí, sí los he visto completos, pero no me aparece. No, pero, pero hasta donde yo sepa, no, solamente es ver el video. En y ese si no caso... aparece el chequecito completo, entonces queda como que no ha sido completa la sección. Pues no, no, no estaría seguro. Le recomendaría que se, come, que se comunicara con quién está en nuestro grupo. Paola, parece, ¿verdad? No sé, no sé quién alguien? es la que, la que me escribe, pero uh -huh. yo le hice la pregunta y me dijeron que sí. ¿Que sí qué? Pues yo les pregunté, ¿verdad? Le hice la misma pregunta que le hago a usted de, uh -huh. respecto a eso y que no me apareció el cheque y pues... Me dijeron que sí tenía que llenar la, la parte de abajo. De verdad. Bueno, pero la parte de abajo solamente es discussion. View all posts, pero nadie pone un post. Así que... Sí, porque como yo le digo, yo he visto los videos así completos, pero porque aquel día estuve haciendo la sección 5 uh -huh. y no me aparece el chequecito ahí. De verdad. Bueno, voy a darle aquí a correr el video sin, sin ningún eh, sonido para que no nos afecte y vamos a ver qué me sale. ¿De acuerdo? Ok, ok. Ok. All right. Bueno, ahí va ahorita. Eh, continuamos. Ok, so you have some examples. I'm working. I'm not watching TV. Maria is reading a newspaper. She isn't eating or she's not eating. The phone is ringing. Uh, we're having dinner. You're not listening to me, or you can say you aren't listening to me. The children are doing their homework. Okay? So remember, when we use am, is, or are, plus the verb in ing, that means that something is happening right now, in this moment, as we speak. You say, I'm working. She's wearing a hat. They're playing baseball. I'm not watching television. Sorry, I'm not watching television. So that's in the present. That's right now. And there are some more examples. Please be quiet. I'm working. That means I am working now. Look, there is Sarah. She's wearing a yellow dress. That means she's wearing a yellow dress now. The weather is nice. It's not raining. That means it isn't raining. Where are the children? They're playing in the park. On the phone, you say, we're having dinner now. Can I call you later? And the last one, you can turn off the television. I'm not watching it. Bueno, acabo de hacer el experimento, corrí el video completo y me sale el cheque. Así que no sabía Pero no decirle. sé por qué a mí no me aparece el Ajá, sí. Tendría que comunicarse directamente con, con ellos. 
porque voy ya, a ajá, ya sería algo un voy aspecto a intentarlo técnico. nuevamente entonces uh -huh. a ver qué sucede uh -huh. y le comunico ahí por el chat ok ok perfecto sí porque okay. yo acabo de correrlo tengo una pantalla adicional lo he puesto ahí de principio a fin y me aparece el cheque al pasar la, la sección verdad al ir a la siguiente aparece el cheque ok Lee, gracias por resolverme la duda ok Um, the spelling rules. Okay, we need to remember this. Normally, you need to, I, to add ing to most verbs. For example, work becomes working, steady becomes studying, eat becomes eating. Now, for verbs ending in e, you need to drop the e and add ing. For example, come ends in e, so you eliminate it and then you add ing. Come becomes coming, dance becomes dancing and write becomes writing, okay? Now, this is the difficult rule. For verbs ending in a stressed syllable with the final combination consonant, vowel, and consonant, you need to add an extra consonant and ing. For example, run, that's a one syllable verb. That's the stress syllable, esa es la sílaba fuerte, that's the stress syllable, and it ends in consonant, vowel, and consonant, so you need to add an extra consonant in ing, run becomes running with double n, stop, stop, one syllable verb, it's a one syllable verb, so if it has only one syllable, that's the stress syllable, and it ends in consonant, vowel, consonant, so stopping, double p finally you have control control it ends in a stress syllable because you pronounce control no se pronuncia control si fuera control la fuerza iría al principio y la regla no aplica pero va al final en la última sílaba así que sí aplica control control and it ends in consonant vowel and consonant so you need to add an extra consonant and ing controlling that's the rule and finally for verbs ending in ie you need to change ie for y i n g like this lie becomes lying die becomes dying tie becomes tying just be careful if it ends in ie you change ie for y i n g Okay, those are the rules. And we have the exercises now. This is present continuous. What are these people doing? Use the verbs to complete the sentences. Okay, but before that, take a look. What is the meaning of lie? Mentir. Is... Mentira. Mentir. Mm -hmm. Mentir, that's right. But it has another meaning. Jose Aguilar, no sé si quería participar. Yes, uh, I don't know what's meaning tie. I think tie. that it's uh, a tie, like a... Yes, okay. That's as a noun, como sustantivo, okay? As a noun, it means corbata. But uh -huh. as, a, as a verb, it means atar. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. For example, you can tie your shoes. Mm-hmm. So, mm -hmm. so uh, lie, uh, Michelle said mentir, and as a noun, mentira. That is correct, that is correct, but it also has another meaning. Lie means estar acostado o yacer. Si ustedes ven algunas tumbas, no en El Salvador, porque todas están escritas en español, Pero si ven, van a un país donde se habla inglés, en algunas tumbas van a ver que dice Here lies y el nombre de la persona. No, no es que aquí mienta la persona, no, más bien aquí yace la persona, aquí está descansando sus restos. Here lies, ok. Pero no hay que estar muerto necesariamente para, para ocupar esto. Uno puede estar acostado en cualquier lugar, estando vivo. So... That's the meaning of lie. Si a usted le dicen, lie down, le están dando la instrucción de que se recueste. Si usted va al doctor, por ejemplo, le puede decir al doctor, please lie down. 
Acuéstese. Ok. Uh -huh. So, yeah, that's the meaning of lie. No solo es mentir, también es acostarse o estar acostado más bien. Acostarse es lie down. Solo lie es estar acostado. Ok, so now that we know this, we can do the exercise. What are these people doing? Use the verbs to complete the sentences. What about number one? Para todos me van a ocupar he, she, or they. Michelle, number one, please. He eating an apple. Can you repeat it, please? He eating an apple. Something is missing. Algo le falta ahí. Una palabrita. <laughs> she. The verb be. She is mm -hmm. eating an apple. She is eating an apple. Yeah, that's right. She is eating an apple. Mm -hmm. Very Thank important. You. You're, you're welcome. Thank you for participating. Very important. Remember, present continuous always, always uses the verb be. Always. Ana Patricia, number two. Um, he is playing for a bus. Playing for a bus. Mm, no, a different verb. Mm. Mm -hmm. He's at the bus stop. He is? Um, he is waiting mm -hmm. for a bus. He is waiting for a bus. For okay, a bus. That's, that's right. He's waiting for a bus. Thank you, Ana Patricia. Janet Jacqueline, what about number three? They are playing soccer. They are playing soccer. Yeah, that's right. Very good. Thank you very much. Hugo, number four. Okay. Um, they are... They mm -mm. eat them. So yeah, no, that, that's, that's number five. What about number four? Ah, uh, so yeah, the, he's sleeping. Bueno, tal vez, pero no está en la lista ese verbo. No. Gramaticalmente está correcto, eso sí. Ok, pero no está en la lista. A lo mejor uh, está despierto. Entonces... The uh, why? I'm sorry. Why? Mm, okay, you say he is. The um, I get to remember now. Lion. Aha. Complete Lion. sentence, please. La oración Lion entera. The door. Lion no. the door. La oración completa. La, uh, he is lying uh, on the floor. He is lying on the floor. That's correct. Thank you, Hugo. Welcome. Benjamin, number five, please. They're having breakfast. They're having breakfast. Okay, yeah, that's correct. They are or they're having breakfast. Thank you. Jennifer Noemi, number six, please. Uh, so yeah. She... Pero veamos la forma del verbo. She is. Sería, pero no escuché. Veamos las demás, cómo están estructuradas. Esas las puede tomar de ejemplo. She is. She is. Sitting, sitting. Mm -hmm. She is sitting on the table. That's okay. right. Now look, she is sitting on the table, double T, because the verb sit has one syllable. That's the strong syllable, the stress syllable, and it ends in consonant, vowel consonant. So that means double T. She is sitting on the table. Okay. Everybody, very good. Let's continue. There are more exercises for us to do. What about this? Complete the sentences. Use these verbs. Build, cook, leave, take, stand, swim, and work. What about number one? Hugo. 
<clears throat> Sería, please be quiet, I work. Um, are you sure? Sería, how do you say quiet? Quiet? <laughs> no, you mean the meaning of quiet. No, quiet. Por eso, what is the meaning of quiet? Ah. Uh -huh. Son dos preguntas diferentes, ¿verdad? Si usted me dice, how do you say? Es, ¿cómo se dice tal cosa? Uh -huh. Pero si usted quiere saber qué significa, what is the meaning of, y luego me dice la palabra, what is the meaning of quiet? Uh -huh. Quiet means callado, en silencio. Ok. Uh -huh. Please be quiet. Pero entonces sería... Eh, big, quiet, uh, el, I, verbo, el verbo que me eligió era correcto. La work. forma del verbo era el problema. Working. Working. Uh -huh. Entonces I'm queda, working. please be quiet. I am working. I am working. I That's am working. correct. Thank you, Hugo. You're welcome. Uh, Janet, number two. Where is John? He is in the kitchen. He is cooking. He is cooking. That's right. Thank you very much. Jose Aguilar, number three. Um, I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Who can help Jose Aguilar? Y le echa la manita. May I? Um, yeah, but Jacqueline raised her hand first. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay so let, sorry. Let's, let's raise the hand. Okay, but thank you. Uh, Janet Jacqueline. Creo que sería, you are standing on my foot. You're standing on my foot. Oh, I'm sorry. That's correct. Yes. Okay. You're standing on my foot. Siempre me ha parecido graciosa esta porque ¿quién no va a sentir que está parado en el pie de alguien? Pero bueno. You're standing on my foot. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. What about number four? Raise your hands, please. Ana Patricia. Look, somebody are swimming in the river. Okay, one detail. Algo que no está contemplado acá, pero es bueno que lo sepan, es que cuando ocupamos estos pronouns que terminan en body, por ejemplo, somebody, uh, anybody, everybody, nobody, etcétera, etcétera, todos ellos van a ocupar un verbo in third person singular form. Uy, voy a hacer esto más grande. Siempre. Aunque alguien me diga, pero mire, teacher, cuando dicen everybody son varias personas, no solo es una. Así es, en significado. Pero gramaticalmente, siempre, siempre, uno va a utilizar un verbo en third person singular form. Así que si ocupamos el verb be, siempre sería somebody is, anybody is, everybody is, nobody is. Siempre queda así. Uh -huh. Y lo mismo pasa para cualquier otro verbo que usted quiera utilizar. Por ejemplo, si fuera present simple y usted dijera um, el verbo have, por ejemplo, sería somebody has, porque es el third person, Anybody has, nobody has, everybody has, I'm sorry, nobody has. Así que siempre con estos pronouns se utiliza el third person singular. Y como ya vimos, el third person singular del verb be es is. Así que, ¿cómo nos quedaría acá? Sería, look, somebody, somebody is, is in the river. Somebody is? In the river. Falta el verbo. Ajá. Ah, somebody is swim, swimming 
in mm -hmm. the river. Somebody is swimming in the river. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Teacher. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you for participating. Number five. Who wants to try? Number five, please. Mm -hmm. Michelle, and then Benjamin. No, mejor Benjamin. <laughs> okay, Benjamin. Le cedió el puesto. <laughs> Benjamin? No, Michelle, adelante, dele. Okay, ladies first. Okay. Eso es caballerosidad, miren. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm a knight. Okay. So, I'm a, no, sería más bien, I'm a gentleman. Knights son los caballeros nombrados por la reina, ¿verdad? No, esto es... Es que se me está olvidando bastante el inglés, licenciado. No, no, no hay problema, no hay problema. Para eso estamos en clases, para aprender. No hay, no hay por qué disculparse. Okay, por eso gentleman. es que reserva el ejercicio. <risa> gentleman es uh, caballero. Ok, pero caballero de, que tiene buenos modales, que es, que es caballeroso, ¿verdad? Y luego tenemos el knight, knight, ok que es el caballero, pero nombrado por la reina, ¿verdad? Por el rey, etc. Ok. So, uh, number five. Uh, Michelle, then Benjamin, and then Hugo. We are here on a holiday. We are working at the Central Hotel. <laughs> on holiday. Bueno, voy a hacer un cambio en esta palabra por la confusión, vacation, esto lo saqué de una fuente de inglés británico, británico perdón, por eso dice holiday, así que vamos a cambiar la palabra por vacation, ¿cómo nos quedaría oh. entonces? No puede estar trabajando entonces. Uh, no, sorry, <laughs> we're here on vacation, ¿ah? Huh? We are living. Okay. Um, we are here on vacation. We. Ay, se me ha olvidado la cómo se dice el verbo. Give me a second. Give me a second. Mm. I am. I apologize. Okay. There are. Eight sentences and there are seven verbs. Okay, aquí falta uno. Es natural que no que no lo encuentre porque no está. <ríe> lo lamento. Voy a arreglar eso de inmediato. ¿Dónde quedaría? Quiero ver. Okay, ahí está. <ríe> I'm sorry. Uh, okay. We are here on vacation. We are staying at the Central Hotel. We are staying at the Central Hotel. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Benjamin says he loves British English. Okay. <laughs> yeah, me too. So, uh, number six, Benjamin, where's Susan? She's taking a shower. She's taking a shower. That's correct. Okay, thank you. Uh, Michelle, by the way, thank you. Thank you for answering. Okay, y me disculpa ahí que me faltó un verbo. <laughs> no lo puse. Okay, uh, thank you, Benjamin. Hugo, number seven. You're welcome, teacher. Mm, sería... I... No, number seven. Uh, they are... Sí, seríamos usando el error, ¿verdad? Yes. They are cooking. They are cooking. You, uh, no. I'm sorry, sorry. No, you don't cook a hotel, no? No, sorry, I don't need the mass. Seria Seria Blue Building. Building. Mm -hmm. Entonces, they, they are, are, are blending. 
they are building a new hotel in the city center. Okay, they are building a new hotel in the city center at the moment. Thank you, Hugo. No, uh, Jennifer Noemi. They are building. building. I live in Dubai. Again, please. I live in Dubai. Me falta algo importante ahí. Uh, I am leaving goodbye. I am leaving goodbye. Okay. okay. I am leaving. Goodbye. Ya me voy, dice. I am leaving. Goodbye. Okay. Thank you, Jennifer Noemi. Siempre, si ustedes se fijan, en todas y cada una de ellas aparece el verb be. Siempre está el verb be. Si lo dejamos fuera, está mal. Okay. So, I am leaving now. Goodbye. They're building a new hotel, etc., etc. Okay. Next exercise. Tenemos bastantes ejercicios, así que vamos ahí. Present continuous. Look at the picture. Write sentences about Jane. That's Jane in the picture. Es la chica que está ahí. Use the present continuous tense, affirmative or negative. Según lo que usted está viendo ahí, me va a ocupar la forma afirmativa o la forma negativa. Okay. Por ejemplo, have dinner. Podemos ver ahí, no, no está cenando, así que negative form. ¿Cómo nos quedaría eso? Selma. Sería, she is not have dinner. Mm, she having, is not having. Having dinner. Mm -hmm. She is not having dinner. Or she isn't having dinner. Que es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Okay. She isn't having dinner. Okay, correct. Thank you, Selma. Hugo. Yes, she is watching television. She is watching television. Yeah, uh -huh. that's right. She's watching television. Thank you, Hugo. Number three. Sit on the floor. Ana Patricia. Uh, she is sitting on the floor. She is sitting on the floor. That's right. Very good. Thank you. Jennifer Noemi, number four. Read a book. She, she is reading uh, reading a book. Can you repeat, please? She? She is... Uh, she is doesn't reading mm, a book. She is doesn't no. No, not possible. No, doesn't. Ah. Veamos, solamente hay que utilizar la forma negativa del verb be. Decimos uh -huh. she is es afirmativo. She uh -huh. isn't es uh -huh. negativo. Entonces she isn't uh -huh. reading a book. She isn't reading a book. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, Jennifer. Luz Virginia, number five, play the guitar. Luz Virginia. Luz Virginia. Okay. Uh, Janet Jacqueline. She isn't playing the guitar. She isn't playing the guitar. Yeah, that's right. She isn't playing the guitar. Good. Thank you. Jennifer Noemi, number six, laugh. Teacher, what does this mean? Ask me in English. Uh, what is the meaning? Ah, verdad. Okay. What is the meaning of laugh? <laughs> <laughs> That's laugh. Cantar. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, she is uh, laughing. She is laughing. Okay, she is laughing. La pronunciación es laugh, como con una F al final, laugh. She is laughing. Okay, thank you very much. Number seven, raise your hand, please. Number seven. Michelle. Um, she isn't, she isn't, sorry, wearing a hat. She isn't wearing a hat, negative. Yes. Correct. <laughs> what is she wearing? 
wearing um, está usando mm -hmm. tiene she, puesto she's wearing she isn't uh -huh. wearing a hat she isn't wearing a hat ah correcto pero qué es lo que lleva puesto en su lugar what is she wearing una gorra in English a uh, cap a cap correct okay <laughs> mm -hmm. Entonces, she isn't wearing a hat. She's wearing a cap. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> that is correct. And number eight. Number eight. Who can who can help us? Victoria Ingrid. She isn't writing a letter. She isn't writing a letter. That is correct. Very good. Thank you, Victoria. Nice. There you go. Now, what is happening? Tell me true sentences. Quiero que me digan la verdad. No van a inventar, por favor. What is happening? Write true sentences. Affirmative or negative. Okay. Number one is I wash my hair. Okay. Como ahorita, ninguno se está lavando el cabello, a menos que por eso tenga la cámara apagada y se esté lavando el cabello con la cámara apagada, que no creo. Ok, tendría que en ser. En mi caso, sí, licenciado. ¿Really? Uh... Ok. Bueno. Um, ben, Benjamin, can you tell me the sentence? Affirmative sentence? In ING form? Yes, present continuous. Ok, I'm washing my hair. I'm washing my hair. Ok. Ahí estamos. Bueno. Sorpresa. Sí, sí, alguien, sí había alguien que está lavando el cabello ahorita, entonces. Ok. So, I'm washing sí, es que my bueno hair. lavárselo de noche. Mm -hmm. I'm washing my hair. Para los que no nos estamos lavando el cabello, sería I'm not washing my hair. Ok. Ok. Hugo, number two. And then Jennifer, number three. Ok. Eh, ajá, question. What is the meaning of rain? Rain. Rain, llover. Ah, uh, sería, it's not, mm -hmm. it's not raining. It's not raining, okay. Okay, it's not raining. Si donde está usted está lloviendo, sería, it's raining. Si no, it isn't raining. O, como lo dice, ¿verdad, Hugo? It is not raining, de forma completa. Thank you very much. Jennifer Noemi. Sería, I'm sitting on the chair. I am sitting on a chair. Okay, that's right. Si no está ahí, sino que está en la maca, por ejemplo, I'm not sitting on a chair. Okay, si está en el suelo, sentado en el suelo, sería, tampoco podría ser, tendría que ser negativo. I'm not sitting on a chair. Good. Ana Patricia, number four. I am not eating. I am not eating. Okay, okay, thank you, Ana Patricia. Michelle, number five. I student English. Okay, um, something is missing. Algo le falta ahí. I'm a student English. Okay, Sorry. I'm, okay, sorry, I'm studying English. I'm studying English. Uh -huh. I'm studying English. Okay, thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay, you're welcome. Jennifer Noemi, number six. Mm, I am not listening. Listening. I am not listening to music. Okay, thank you very much. Number seven, Janet Jacqueline. The sun isn't shining. The sun isn't shining. Lo cual es relativo porque el sol siempre está brillando, solo que no en este momento en este lado del mundo. Okay, pero sí, para efectos prácticos, esa es la respuesta. The sun isn't shining because it's nighttime. Okay, thank you very much. Jose Aguilar, number eight. I'm wearing shoes. I'm wearing shoes. Okay, okay, I'm wearing shoes. Okay, si anda descalzo, entonces sería I'm not wearing shoes. Okay, pero... Jose Aguilar sí tiene puesto los zapatos, así que I'm wearing shoes. Thank you, Jose. Hugo Giovanni, number nine. My family watching television. Le faltó algo ahí. My watching, family. Watching television. The bird bee. Ah, my family is 
watching television. My family is watching television. If it's negative, you say my family isn't watching television. Okay, thank you. Uh, Elisa, Arely, number 10. I'm not watch te watching television. I'm not watching television. Okay, yeah. Me espero que todo sea el caso con todo, ¿verdad? Que no estén viendo la tele ahí en secreto. I'm not watching television. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Um, okay, that's affirmative and negative form. Okay, affirmative and negative form. Ya vimos la estructura. Ya leímos los ejemplos. Ya hicimos los ejercicios. Pero aquí nos falta la siguiente parte de esto. ¿Y cuál es? Take a look. Present continuous question form. We have practiced affirmative form, negative form, and now we have question form. Okay, so take a look. The affirmative form of present continuous is, well, this is affirmative, sorry, and negative. Voy a ponerle acá porque está contemplada ambas. Okay, affirmative and negative. I'm going to save this file. Give me a moment. All right, you say I am or I am not doing, he is or he isn't working, we are or we aren't going, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, but what about the question? The question form is very easy. For the question form, the subject, I'm going to zoom in a bit more, the subject and the verb be change places. Solo cambian de lugar, yes, tú. Ahí está su pregunta. Ya no es I am, sino am I. Ya no es he is, sino que is he. Ya no es we are, sino que are we. Ya no es you are, sino are you. Lo demás, todo es lo mismo. Am I doing? Is he working? Is she working? Is it going? Are you staying? Are we doing? etc 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 you just need to use the verb be at the beginning and after that you need to use a subject and then the verb in ing that's the structure esa es la pregunta solo hay que cambiar de lugar el sujeto y el verb be voila okay bueno soy francés i'm sorry okay so take a look you have this lady she's asking what are you doing okay fíjense acá are you El verb iba primero y luego el sujeto. What are you doing? And you have some examples. Here's a conversation. Are you feeling okay? Are you feeling okay? ¿Se siente bien? Are you feeling okay? And the other person says, yes, I'm fine. Thanks. Next question. Is it raining? Yes. Take an umbrella. Why are you wearing a jacket? It's not cold. What is Paul doing? He's reading the newspaper. What are the children doing? They are watching television. Look, there is Emma. Where is she going? Who are you waiting for? Are you waiting for Rose? Before we continue, do you have any questions? Do you have questions about the questions? <laughs> ¿Tienen preguntas sobre la forma de pregunta? Básicamente es lo mismo, solo que el verb be y el sujeto cambian de lugar y ya es tú. <laughs> Eso es todo lo que tiene de diferente. No questions. Okay, then. Everything is clear. Everything is clear, like as el water river water. Okay, yeah, like, like horchata. Okay, so present continuous question form. Study the word order. Veamos el orden de la pregunta. ¿Cómo va? M is or are plus the subject plus the verb in ing. Look, is he working today? Is Paul working today? These two are yes, no questions. The answers are yes or no. Cuidado, no vamos a preguntar, is working Paul today? 
en español uno puede jugar bastante con el orden de las palabras, sobre todo en preguntas. ¿Verdad? Uno puede decir, mira, y Pablo está trabajando hoy, o está trabajando hoy Pablo, o hoy está trabajando Pablo, ¿ok? Hoy Pablo está trabajando. De cualquier manera que usted lo ponga, la gente se lo va a entender en español, pero en inglés es mucho más rígido en el orden de las palabras. Así que solamente hay una forma correcta, que sería, en este caso, is Paul working today? Si usted dice, is working today, Paul, is working Paul today? Mm, it's grammatically incorrect. Now, what about this? Where are they going? Where are those people going? These are information questions. In this case, you don't answer yes or no. No, they need specific information. Where are they going? They are going to the beach. Okay. They are going to Guatemala. They are going to Mexico. They are going to the stadium. They are going to the concert. They are going to the movies, etc. No le voy a decir, yes, they are. No le está preguntando eso. So, where are those people going? Entonces, veamos, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre las uh, yes, no questions and information questions? La diferencia entre una yes, no question y una information question es que para una information question usted va a utilizar antes del verb be una question word. O sea, who, where, why, how, what time, how much etcétera, 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 porque es esta palabra precisamente la que nos dice qué tipo de información es la que usted tiene que dar a la persona que le está preguntando. Si le dicen where, le están preguntando por un lugar. Si le dicen why, le están preguntando por un motivo. Si le dicen when, le están preguntando por un, uh, una fecha, un tiempo en específico. Si le dicen how much, preguntando por precio o por cantidad. Y así consecutivamente. ¿Ok? Si no lleva esa palabra, es una yes, no question. ¿Y qué pasa con las yes, no questions? Cuando usted le hacen una yes, no question, usted puede utilizar esto, short answers. ¿Y cuál es la short answer? Sencillo. Aquí hay algo que tenemos que ver. Y es que a usted siempre que le hagan una yes, no question, no importa que sea present continuous o que sea present simple o que sea past simple o cualquier tiempo de verbo, solo fíjese en esto, esta es la clave, fíjese en el auxiliar o la primera palabra con la que comienza esa yes, no question y esa es la clave para contestar. Si usted nota que en la pregunta, digamos, is Paul working today, usted dice, is Paul is, ah, ese es el verb be. En otras palabras, tengo que contestar con el verb be. Esa es la clave. Si la pregunta comienza con do o does, entonces usted va a contestar con do o does. Si comienza con did, usted va a contestar con did. Y así. Esa es la clave. Entonces, you say, yes, I am. Yes, he is. Yes, she is. Yes, it is. Yes, we are. Yes, you are. Yes, they are. Negative? No, I'm not. Y aquí veamos, podemos, eh, aquí tenemos alternativas para la forma en pregunta. You can say, mm, permítanme, voy a cambiar una mayúscula que no tiene que estar ahí. Ok. All right, better. Usted puede decir, no, he's not, or no, he isn't. No, she's not, or no, she isn't. No, it's not, or no, it isn't. No, we're not, or no, we aren't. No, you're not, or no, you aren't. No, they're not, or no, they aren't. And you have some examples. Are you going now? Yes, I am. Is Paul working today? Yes, he is. Is it raining? No, it isn't. Are your friends staying at the hotel? No, they aren't. 
period. And now you can add some extra information. They're staying with me. Okay? That's the idea. Esa es la información sobre question form. And press and continuous. Do you have any questions before we do the exercise? No. No Wait. questions. Okay. Very good. All right. Just give me a moment. Okay. So, well, exercise time. Present continuous, question form. Look at the pictures and write questions. Look, you watch it. And he says, no, you can turn it off. Lo puede apagar. So it's, are you watching it? Está viendo? Are you watching it? And the person says, no, you can turn it off. Okay. What about number two? Volunteers, please raise your hand. Your virtual hand. Michelle. Are you going now? Are you going now? Yes. See you tomorrow. Okay. Es lo que dice aquí. No me van a desconectar, por favor. Number three. Thank you, Michelle. Okay. <laughs> okay. Na, uh, Selma. Is it raining? Is it raining? No. Not at the moment. Thank you, Selma. Number four. Hugo. Yes, it's very funny. So, yeah. Yes, it's very. Eh, sorry, teacher. Um, aquí le estamos poniendo los. Eso, ok. Entonces, sería. Um, finance. Sería en finance, quizás. No. Sería. Dice, yes, it's very funny. It's very funny. Ah, pero lo que va a utilizar usted son las palabras que están en paréntesis. Ah, uh, enjoy. Uh -huh. Pero en pregunta. It's, it's very joy. Mm, no, sorry. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Maybe Jennifer Noemi can help uh, us. Again, please, are you? Enjoy the film. Enjoy the film. Mm, algo está fallando ahí. Are you? Enjoy the film. Enjoy the film. Like this? Veamos. Porque esto es lo que escucho. Veamos. Are you enjoy the film? ¿Así? ¿O habría que modificar eso? Are, mm -hmm. yeah, are you enjoy, enjoying? Enjoying. Yeah, that's right. Are you enjoying the film? The film. Okay. Enjoying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Si solo decimos enjoy, suena como la forma base. Para poner el ING, enjoying. Enjoying the film. So, mm -hmm. are you enjoying the film? And she says, yes, it's very funny. Thank you, Jennifer. Janet Jacqueline, number five, please. Is that clock working? Is that clock working? No, it's broken. Okay, thank you, Janet. Ana Patricia, number six, please. Are you waiting for a bus? Bus? You, for a bus, okay. Are you waiting for a bus? For a no, bus. for a taxi. Thank you, Ana Patricia. That's the correct question. Very good. Okay, very nice. Bien, todavía tenemos un chancecito. Veamos. Okay, next exercise. Look at the pictures and write the questions. Si ustedes notaron, ¿qué tipo de preguntas eran todas estas que están acá? Preguntas de información. Question. Okay. Information Pre questions. Information questions. Mm, no, <laughs> sorry. Yes, no questions. Yes, no questions. Aha, uh -huh. that's right. They are yes, no questions. Todas las respuestas son yes or no. Like, are you watching it? No, you can turn it off. 
Are you going now? Yes, see you tomorrow. Is it raining? No, not at the moment. Are you enjoying the film? Yes, it's very funny. Is that clock working? No, it's broken. Are you waiting for a bus? No, for a taxi. So these are yes, no questions. Now it's time for you to practice information questions. Take a look. Look at the pictures and write the questions. For example, he asks her, what are you reading? ¿Qué estás leyendo? What are you reading? Para este ejercicio, fíjense la persona que está hablando y fíjense con quién está hablando. Eso les va a ayudar a resolverlo. O sea, no vamos a ocupar you todas las veces. Porque una cosa es con quién estamos hablando y otra es de quién estamos hablando. Así que eso nos va a variar el sujeto que vamos a utilizar. En este caso, él está preguntando a ella directamente. Está hablando con ella. Así que, what are you reading? What about number two? Hugo Giovanni. Where she is. Where she is or where is she? Where is she is. Uh -huh. Where is she? Is. Falta el verbo principal. Uh, work. Espérame, estoy aquí. Eh, no sé, ¿Para no, dónde va, le dice? ¿Para dónde va? Ajá. ¿Cómo nos quedaría? Sí, no, no sé. Ok, no problem. How do, you say, how do you say ir in English? ¿Cuál go. es el Ajá, go. Ok. So, um, let's see. ¿Cómo nos quedaría entonces? Veamos, José Aguilar. Where is she going? Where is she going? Yeah, that's right. Where is she? She, she, le puse ahí, pero se me fue un she de más. Okay. Where is she going? Okay. Para donde vale? <laughs> okay, thank you, Jose. Number three, Janet Jacqueline. What are you eating? What are you eating? Okay. Yeah, that's right. What are you eating? Thank you. Jennifer, Noemi. So difícil, es la voz que Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, Ana Patricia. Why do you crying? Ah, cuidado, no podemos ocupar do. Ese es un auxiliar de otro tiempo verbal. Uh, why is he crying? Pero le está preguntando directo al niño. Uh, o sea, la plática es con él directamente. Entonces, what are you crying? Why what are you why are you crying? Why are you crying? Are you crying? ¿Por qué están llorando? Le dice, why are you crying? Okay. Why are you crying? Thank you, Ana Patricia. José Aguilar, no sé si me quiere participar o si le quedó la mano levantada. No, creo que le quedó la mano levantada. Okay. Number five. Who wants to try? Uh -huh. Janet, Jacqueline. No estoy segura, teacher, pero podría ser What are they seeing? What are they seeing? Podría ser, aunque hay un verbo que es más apropiado. Washing? Hay uno que es más apropiado que ese. I don't know. <laughs> Veamos, más apropiado que el verbo see sí y el verbo watch. Selma? Eh, podría ser, what are they looking? Looking, what are they looking? Y nos falta una palabra más ahí para completar. What are they looking? They. Mm, no, sí. después de looking. What are they looking? Vamos. What sí. are they looking? No problem, no problem. What are sí. they looking at? Uh -huh. ah, okay. Siempre que ocupamos look, por lo general se ocupa la preposition at. Look at. Ah, okay. Look at. Thank you. Uh -huh. okay. Es como listen, cuando decimos listen to. Entonces, look at. 
So what are they looking at? ¿Qué están viendo? Okay. Thank you. And the last one, Karen Xiomara. Um, why is he lonely? Laughing. La why is he laughing? Okay. Why is he laughing? ¿De qué está riendo este tipo? Okay. Thank you, Karen. That is correct. Okay. Listen. Voy a pasar asistencia. Ahorita por segunda vez. Para aquellos que se incorporaron después que lo mencioné la primera vez. Okay. So, um, Brenda Adriana Méndez Méndez. Brenda Adriana Méndez Méndez. Último llamado. Brenda Adriana. Uh, Irving Hiroki Kimura. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Present, teacher. Thank you. Karen Xiomara López. Sí, ahí está. Ok. Ok, thank you. Luz Virginia Pérez de Calderón. Luz Virginia Pérez de Calderón. Ok. Uy. Ok, ahí está. Uh, Sandra Maritza Serrano Barahona. Thank you. Uh, Teresa de Jesús Cruz Navarrete. Teresa de Jesús. Ah, Luz Virginia dice presente. Ok, la vamos a cambiar aquí. Ya la había puesto ausente, pero no, ya la puse presente. Thank you, Luz Virginia. Teresa de Jesús Cruz Navarrete. No, ok. Ok, everybody. We're going to finish here. Thank you very much. And uh, I will you. see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. Good, Good night. night. Thank you. Good night. 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 Have a nice night, Bye. teacher. Bye. You too. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.